um, just real quick. I mean, this is uh, on the 10th, I'm going to do a, uh, I think it's a Saturday night meeting. It's, I think that's Saturday, if I remember correctly. And then the following Saturday, I'm going to do an additional, I'm going to break it into two parts, basically. This is just kind of a, um, a preview of what's going to be covered in one of those right there. Um, but basically, I'm going to just do this because I have this all set up already for um, when we do this. Basically, I'm going to make a new file here, and I have a song up here at the top. Um, to add your lyrics to this, you're going to right-click on that new timing that's right there, and you're going to import the lyrics. And just a second here, let me do this really quick, because like I said, I have this. Uh, faces tutorial. Wow, what's all that? Okay. Unknown Christmas song, which is right here. I'm just going to open this. This has all the lyrics for it. You can find them online. Um, this is actually a song that was done by QVC for a for their ad back in, I think, 2012, 2013 timeframe. This is a song that you won't find on Amazon or anywhere else. If you contact QVC via Facebook, you can ask them for this. And it takes about three to six months before they respond back and they send you a link to the how to download this song. I just usually include it with their stuff because they usually whatever. But anyway, you copy the lyrics. Control C to copy. And I'm going to close this. Wow, that was way over there. And you then paste them in here. And as you can see, I have all the lyrics in here for the song. Press OK. And it's now going to create a timing track. In the timing track, every one of those lyrics that had a, a section and then an enter every line becomes its own timing mark up in here. If I zoom in on any one of these, you will see that each of them is its own timing track now with the, with the actual words in it. Um, generally what I do is I try to find where the first lyric starts. Hold on, let me figure out how to share audio. That's, that's, the, that's the important thing. Hold on. Uh, let me see here. More audio options. I think it is shared. It is shared. You guys heard that? I did. No, it is not shared. If you click new share, and then on the bottom left of that pop up dialog, you'll have share computer audio. Okay, hold on. I'll just and, I'll and turn your volume way down. Yeah, way down. Right, all right. So I can do that. So share screen. Ah, uh, sure. Okay. Got it. All right. And then I come down here and turn my computer audio way down. Somewhere in that neighborhood. Let me see if this plays now. There's a chill in me. Did you guys hear that? Yes. Yeah. Yes, right. very much so. <laughs> <laughs> Was it too loud? It is quite loud, yes. It was quite loud. Okay, hold on. There's not an audio inside of x lights so... All right. Anyway, I know that there's a chill in the air starts somewhere around here. So basically, you just are going to shrink all these down and make them tiny. And if you come over here to the end, you can... I didn't mean to grab that. I meant to grab the whole timing mark and bring it over. Slide. Yeah. Here we go. 
But basically, you just start base. Uh, I'll just do the first couple lyrics here. There's a chill in the air. And see, that's another thing I like about this. Is you There's a chill in the air. And get your stuff. They're so crisp and so fresh. But you can. <coughs> crisp and so fresh. That All these people want air tonight. Look. Say what? Look. Yeah. But basically, the nice thing about it is double clicking on any timing mark will play the audio that's between the marks so that you can start lining stuff up. Once you get to this point, like I know there, there's a chill in the air is basically lined up correctly. I can break down the phrase. This will take a second because it's got to load the libraries and then figure out the stuff. The first time you break down a phrase or a, a word or anything, it X Lights goes back in and, and loads the libraries that it needs to to do that. So the very first time you do it, every time you open the X Lights, there's going to be a little bit of a delay while it actually loads in the libraries. But as you can see, they all now show up. And now I can click on this there's and make sure there's a ch and A actually starts over here. There's a ch chill but you can actually chill in the and start lining up your actual words. Chill in the air. In the air. In the air. In the air. So and as you notice, the the air it, it had a little bit of the of the the. In the air. Are you, are you double clicking, Rob, or you just click them once? Yeah, I'm double, I'm double clicking on each one of those okay. to get it to play. Once I have the words lined up where I want them, then I unselect the timing track so that I can actually, and then I can break down the selected words. And then it's just a matter of going through here, zooming in a little bit more so you can actually see the actual phenomes. And uh, generally, Consonants are shorter than vowels, so I just automatically make the consonants shorter and lengthen the vowels as a first step, and then I'll go back through and actually There's actually go through and do that real quick here. I will put, let me do this really quick here really easy to sequence too if you have a matrix or something where you can actually see the singing face <laughs> guess i should have done that but timing track new timing and let me just do the witch but you can actually see there's 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 a chill in the air. So That's pretty close. Just, I mean, just by adjusting the uh, phenomes just from whenever, where it started. Anytime you break something down, it's going to evenly space everything. So it's a matter of adjusting because we don't talk and we don't sing evenly spaced throughout a time. So that's basically what this boils down to is adjusting stuff left and right. Um, but that is the way that I do it. As you can see, it didn't take me very long to get this first thing all the way broke down. You know, and then you can scooch over here and say the, you know, so crisp and so fresh. If you notice your, your mouse pointer turns to a, a hand there. And if you go over a little bit more, it goes to this. I can actually drag this and I can bring that entire timing track back to where it was, even though it might be two or three screens over. So that's a huge help as far as whenever you're just zoomed in, because I can actually go over and drag the next timing track again. And I can do that as well. Um, but that is the way that I particularly find 
the quickest way to sequence is to do it basically one uh, what am I looking for? one phrase at a time. Some people, they, they go through and they get all the phrases lined up all the way down. Then they go through and they get all the words lined up and then they break down. Because you can also right click over here and I can break down all the phrases from all the way across the sequence all at once. I can break down all the words all at once. Or I can select, if you just pull down. Unfortunately, I did something that broke it, so I can't select it anymore.